I went to Northwest Pilot Projects and told them that they were going to lock me out of my home, that they had done it, wasn't going to, they did it. They said, well, we can put you on a list. It's going to be somewhere between two and six weeks. I said, where do I go in the meantime? Get a blanket and pick a park. That's what they said. I want to help myself. All I'm asking for is to use a park to get on our feet to buy our own land. We're gonna run with this and we're gonna call this damn thing Digging Village our home because this is all we have in the whole world and we will make this work because we have nothing else we will take public land because we are the public. Thank you very much. This is a 24-hour well, so notice. This is a 24-hour yeah. notice. 24 24 notice. It gives you a day to, to move your things off. If you choose not to do that, then afternoon tomorrow, uh -huh. you may be subject to arrest. Arrest? Okay. Yep. When Dignity Village moved to this site, it was without the permission of the state. Uh, I believe the state was very uh, thoughtful and, and, and appropriate in how it responded and through a variety of negotiations. I wish I had a better site to move to immediately, but that's the one we've been able to come up with. On uh, one side stands a jail, on the other, a fenced asphalt lot. 40 minutes by bus to downtown Portland, two miles from the nearest store, which is a mini mart, not even a grocery store. I'm just wondering how can people get off the streets like this? How will people work, go to school, and access other social service agencies? Closed off, outside the city, behind the fence, it feels like a concentration camp. It was the same choices that uh, Native Americans were faced with when they were forced to remove. Um, the choice is that you stand your ground and possibly be annihilated, uh, or you wrap up your pride and your dignity and your self-respect and you swallow it. Um, and you go along with the greater authorities, the city government, or in the case of Native Americans, the federal government's wishes, and you move to a place where you are much more likely to fail. Why can't we be allowed to do Squadsville? We're not trying to impose or impress. We just have trying to have an impact on society that if we're allowed to do for ourselves, we can become productive. Also, I like a little clarification about the flag we're flying upside down. It's not to offend any Americans. I'm a proud American. But when you're fishing and your boat's going down, you fly the flag upside down and you pray to God that someone sees your ship. I went out there today and I, I thought, okay, I'll work with the city. I'll hold my head up and lift this long nose of mine in the air and I'll walk in there like a lady. But I got out there and I saw that fence and I saw the barbed wire and we turned on the water spigots and I saw the water running to the center. It's a compost heap. So they're dumping this off at a dump site. It's more polluted probably than this place is. I'm not going. And it's crazy for them to do this. It's criminal. It, it's a federal crime. And I told Mayor Katz it was a federal crime. I'm certain that we will prevail. Prevail. It will be a poor people victory of incredible 
incredible magnitude when we do. If I'm willing to go to jail, I hope a lot of you guys are willing to go with me. Everybody, especially the villagers, please listen. My heart is with you no matter where I am. I love you very much. And I would rather go to jail. And this is not just an issue with us in B-Town, you know. This is coast to coast. And maybe we can set a precedence by sitting here and saying, you can kiss my ass, I am not going nowhere. All I ask is that you keep the struggle in mind. All I, I, I don't ask that you don't go there. I don't ask that you don't compromise. All I ask is that you keep the struggle in mind. You keep dignity in your heart. Keep dignity in your head. Dignity! What if I had come to that camp in November or December or January? Now, I know I'm not going to be in your camp. I would say, oh, that could be me or that could be my kids. That's never going to be me. That's never going to be my kids. Because I've got money. Yeah. I've got access. Exactly. For these people, their highest, their highest need has to do with not just shelter, but dignity. And who even knows what that really consists of when you don't know what it feels like to not have it. Americans are willing to embrace the fact that racism is wrong. Americans are willing to embrace the fact that homophobia is wrong, that sexism is wrong. It's time to embrace the fact that classism is wrong. It's discrimination. We will not stand for it. We will stand united and we will die with dignity if need be. If you were to sweep us, I promise on my grave that there will be more tent cities. If you sweep us, we will come back. If you sweep us, we will come back. If you sweep us, we will come back and 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 back Come from the highway, stuck on the street, walking to be feeling unloved, unwanted, uncared for, out of the door into the village flatlands, away from the mean, the village shine does beam. Wanted and cared for, cared to really for, live your life, no more stress and strife, no more wasted time, no more cat calls, no more motherfucking police busting balls, no more kick, the weight, no more light in my face, light in my face, light shovel and cold, the future yet to be told, now that we out of the doorways, 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 This is home. This is home.